Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dave and welcome back to Dr. Dave's 411. When it comes to cooking and nutrition, few topics are more popular than which oils are the healthiest. On average, each American consumes a whopping 36 pounds of cooking oils per year. First, I want to start by saying oil is fat, which is high in calories at 9 calories per gram or approximately 120 calories per tablespoon as well as 14 grams of fat per tablespoon. So, the most important message we should remember is when using oil, moderation is critical. Any oil in excess is likely to add up to excess weight. When we look at different oils, what we are most interested in is the proportion of monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, and saturated fats. Now, different fats are a whole other topic for another episode. But in general, we want to avoid saturated fats. In moderation, unsaturated fats like those found in plants, nuts, and seeds tend to be healthier and can help lower the risk of heart disease, stroke, and obesity. So our goal should be to replace bad fats, saturated and trans fats, with healthier fats, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. Remember, if it says unsaturated, then it tends to be healthier. One way you can do this is by choosing healthy, non-tropical oils for cooking and preparing food and avoiding solid fats like butter and tropical oils like palm and coconut oil, which can definitely have a lot of saturated fat. The following is not an all-inclusive list of all the healthy and unhealthy oils that are available, but rather a very short and simple list of my preferred oils and oils we may wish to avoid. So what are some of the healthy oils that we can consume? First, canola oil. Canola oil comes from the rapeseed plant and is loaded with healthy, unsaturated fats and very few saturated fats. Some canola oil can be highly processed. So if possible, try to buy unprocessed canola oil to make sure you get all the beneficial nutrients. Next, extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil has gained popularity as part of the hard, healthy Mediterranean diet. It has a high percentage of monounsaturated fats and antioxidants. When it comes to olive oil, it is important to use extra virgin, which means the oil is not processed or refined. I would use extra virgin olive oil as a dressing and would not necessarily cook with it due to its relatively low smoke point. We will discuss smoke point in a bit. Finally, avocado oil. Avocado oil is packed with healthy unsaturated fatty acids as well as vitamin E. So what about oils we should avoid? Vegetable oil. Although it may sound healthy, vegetable oil is usually a blend of multiple oils like corn, canola, soybean, and tends to be highly processed, which means it will often lack nutrients. Sometimes companies will use the term vegetable oil to describe the very unhealthy fats called trans fats which are basically a heart attack in a bottle. So I would try to avoid vegetable oil if possible. Second, coconut oil. I know this is really controversial and so many people tout the health benefits of coconut oil. But the fact is that it has one of the highest saturated fat contents. Coconut oil has a very low percentage of hard, healthy, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids and consists of a whopping 92% saturated fats. In fact, coconut oil has the same amount of saturated fat as lard and butter. It's like a hamburger milkshake. So we just mentioned some healthy oils we can consume, but how about oils we can actually cook with? Before we continue, there is a term we must all be familiar with. It's called the smoke point. The smoke point is the temperature at which an oil will stop glistening and start to burn and smoke. When oil hits its smoke point and begins burning, it also destroys phytochemicals and beneficial nutrients in the oil and starts to release free radicals that can be harmful to your health if consumed. So in cooking, we want to use oils with high smoke points and of course, we want to try and avoid hitting the smoke point when we cook. Some oils with favorable smoke points include avocado oil, which has a very high smoke point at 520 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can feel secure cooking with avocado oil. Grapeseed oil. Although I haven't recommended grapeseed oil 
up above because it does tend to promote inflammation. It does have a favorable smoke point at 420 degrees Fahrenheit. So in small quantities, it's probably okay. Sesame oil is very popular in certain cultures for cooking because it does have a favorable smoke point at 410 degrees Fahrenheit. And what about the ever so popular olive oil? Extra virgin olive oil has a smoke point of 374 to 405 degrees Fahrenheit. So not the highest smoke point, but with close monitoring can be used to cook. What about oils with low or unfavorable smoke points? Flaxseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, and hemp seed oil would be best avoided when cooking. So remember, before you cook with oil, make sure you look up its smoke point. Okay guys, so that's the 411 on oils. One joke before we leave. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? Olive just around the corner. <laughs> it's a fake laugh. It's real. Uh, that was really bad. Okay. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? A milkshake. All right, guys, I'll stick to cardiology. Until next time, this is Dr. Dave.